regu at the end of the fourth quarter in regulation, uh, I saw a coach going giving us an X, which is an in intentional foul because we had one foul to give, and that made them set up like an out of bounds play. And then he told us to, do this, to watch for him and do the same thing, and he just told me to keep creeping up, creeping up. And then I saw the X go up. I just took a gamble and came up lucky, I guess. So when you saw yourself there in the open court, nobody in front of you, what was going to your mind? I just wanted to make the layup to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, make this, game's over. Any of you guys, I know you didn't really have time to set anything up that final four or five seconds when they threw the ball along down court, but what was going on through your mind when you know, they threw the ball toward the basket and well, the guy had yeah, his hands on it? To be honest, I thought he was going to catch it and he just dropped it. But Dante was right there with his hand. I think it would have been a tough shot to make, but I just tried to go get it. You know, and then when I touched it, you know, the game was over. <laughs> stayed in it um, again we stayed in it the whole game simply because they're more athletic they were faster we wanted them to have to play just a little bit harder and I think we forced that and then in that last play we talked a lot about be ready and when I flash the X whoever's closest is going to go to try to get the ball just run through them do whatever it takes to get it because if you get the foul it's only six they'll have to set up on the sideline be about seven eight seconds to go if they don't get it and we get the ball Everybody scramble around and see what we can do. And if we get it and we can't break, call the timeout. We got plenty of them. Chris got it. There was nobody between him and there. And he just did a great job finishing. Yeah, we, we had the ball in our best player's hand, and uh, uh, at about eight seconds, we were going to tack the basket and uh, see what we could get, but um, unfortunately, it didn't go that way. Uh, but, um, you know, again, like I said, man, uh, it was a great game. We played a great team. 
And uh, unfortunately, someone has to lose. Corey had a great year. Can you just talk about, did you say anything to him after that play, after the game was over? I told Torrey Brittingham there's a lot of basketball left. He's a great player. You know, uh, we wouldn't be here without Torrey Brittingham. You know, I know he's hurting right now. Uh, and like I said to Torrey, you know, uh, he'll have a chance to redeem himself on the next level. Uh, just keep working hard. Great, great young man, great player. Um, he's going to make some university happy. Coach, obviously you played on this team as a sophomore. Came back to your senior year. Um, this is where you, know, you wanted to get to. Hey, it's just what, what has the season been like? And what, uh, you know, obviously you didn't win today, but you guys still accomplished a lot. I mean, mm. you, you brought, you know, winning basketball back to Decatur. Um, what is I guess, what does that feel like? I guess being a part of that. It's a good feeling. Wish we had won. Wish didn't get ripped at the end, but I guess it's a good feeling for the town. Uh, if we had it all do it over again, we would put the ball right back in towards hand. You know, um, you know, just kid just made a great play. You know, it's part of the game.